All right. So now I am being challenged by Galacticity Grunt, and Badoo is out here, and I'm doing the switch, and I told you why I'm doing it in the last part. So I shall not explain it again. Fake out. That wasn't very nice. How dare you fake me out? No, 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 Ah, bless me. Ah, sorry. <laughs> really unprofessional, but at least I didn't sneeze like directly into the mic. That would have been bad. Yeah, metal claw. Does Pimplop even have claws? I mean, if it was a, it was if it was resembling a true-to-life penguin, penguins don't really have claws. They just have flippers. Maybe it does have claws, for all I know. I don't pay that much attention. That much attention. That much attention. Yes, Badoo learned- oh, great, water sport doesn't really do me any good, does it? Unless I'm fighting a fire. Uh, which brings me back to the, what I was saying in the last part, how you can't obtain fi a water Pokemon until you get a good rod, or super rod. Um, you can't- uh, you can obtain, like, a few, but, um, like Magikarp and maybe, uh, this, um, Psyduck. But you can't really get many, um, until you get the super rod. So, um... Basically, grass is the only one that's readily available, because fire, as we all know, you can. there's not that many fire Pokemon, and you can only usually get them late into the game. Like, in this one, there's, I think there's a volcano, and there's a volcano in the second, in gold and silver, I believe there's a volcano. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't played too far into them yet. Uh, gold and silver, that is. And, um, that's usually where it is, where the fire Pokemon are. Or if not, they're usually pretty far into the game. In like some cave somewhere, hiding, waiting, watching, stalking, eating, sleeping, then going to the bathroom. All right, more per no more diamond exclusive. Where are the pearl exclusives? Where are the um? Mm -hmm, can't remember them. Dang it! I can only remember Palkia. <laughs> Pretty sad, right? Yeah. I really don't like kids who happen to be tough trainers. Oh, don't be a sore loser. I really don't like adults who whine. Oh boy, a bunch of people standing around. This can't be good. Hey, this looks like a leader. Is it Mercury? I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait, there's one of four of commanders. Mars. I was close. I knew by the red hair that it was a red plan. Hey, wait, there's four commanders? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there was three commanders in... Uh, Diamond and Pearl with one like Supreme Commander guy, wh whatever his name was, Wilson, whatever it was. Um, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. If there was only three in Diamond and Pearl, then that's an allusion to it by saying there's three on no wait, maybe four. And if there isn't, and th there actually is four uh, leaders, then I am wrong and an idiot. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. The people have shown little understanding about what to do. What does this sound like? Um. Hitler? Jeez. They're trying to create a new world? That's pretty Hitlerish. So we have to battle? Yeah, at least they're not trying to exterminate certain Pokemon. That would be extraordinarily Hitler-like. Did you see the G? That G was for Galactic. Because this is a Galactic battle. Alright, I have a query for you, and query means question. How did this idiot become commander when it only has two Pokemon and they're at level freaking 15? A 10-year-old who has just begun his Pokemon journey can beat it. How on earth are they commanders? Or how in the galaxy, I should say, did these people, this, at least this one, become a commander? I understand why they had to do it, because if they made him too, or her, him or her, I can't remember if it's a guy or girl, too tough, then I wouldn't be able to beat it, and then I wouldn't be able to progress in the game. So I understand that. But why in the Pokemon world's logic would, would the, the person, would, why would they choose these as their lead? Oh, never mind. What do you think you're doing to my po- What do you mean, what do you think I'm doing? I'm fighting it, that's what you- Ah, oh, idiot. No, no, no. No, no, no. 
Steel Claw is now my crutch attack for Crimplup. Until he learns uh, Water Gun or Water Blast or Hydro Pump, that's it. Although Water Pump, Water Gun is an attack. Just not a strong one. Yay! Come on, evolve, Badoo. Please tell me you don't need like a Leaf Stone. I think he does later on in the evolution. Does he evolve into something that evolves into Bellossom, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, no, I won't switch on Pokemon. Oh no, we've got like three minutes left. Alright, what would Prin Prinplup do? What do you think Prinplup will do? She's another diamond exclusive. I am getting pretty mad here. Oh, wait a minute. Oops, my bad. Glammeow is a pearl exclusive. I'm such an idiot. Oh crap, Plimplup playing it faint. This is what I get for not paying attention. Oh crap, I'm in trouble. I'm in deep trouble. Um, this is what I get for talking to you guys. Alright, so, come on, Shinx. Use charge. Please tell me it's an attack. Oh, crap. I am dead. Oh, why didn't I pay attention? Why didn't I use a Pokemon Center? Why didn't I marry Psyduck? Uh, who's level 5 and stands no chance here? Gee, that's nice. Scratch. No, we've got two minutes left. Come on, it'd be nice if I could trump this guy for the end of the video. Ugh. But we all know how that always happens with me. When I end the video on a battle, you all know what always happens. Well, you do if you've been paying attention. Um... No, Astonish won't work. I'll try Supersonic. If I can confuse it, then maybe I'll stand a chance. Because maybe it can hurt, kill itself. Alright, Purgly became confused. That's a good start. Come on, please hurt itself in confusion. Ugh. The way I think of it, Faint Attack should really just be the Pokemon fainting. That would be a nice attack, wouldn't it? Um... Crap, Geodude and Psyduck. At least Geodude's super effective and Progly's confused. Okay, maybe I can pull this off. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No. Yes. Come on. Super effective, but it didn't do much. Alright, come on. Its defense fell, which means my next attack should be better on it. It only takes out 9 HP every time it attacks me. So I should be able to survive one more hit, and then maybe if I can use a potion. Yes, I can beat him. Oh, come on. It has a berry. That's not fair. Alright, I'm going to use a, an item. Um, I'm going to use a potion. On Geodude. Obviously. Alright. Well, we know Purgly can't have any more berries on him, so I can win. I have two minutes left. On the film, I mean. Not not film, on the disc. Duh. Come on. No. Rock Smash? Yes. Come on. Just like two more hits of Rock Smash. Okay. I should be able to survive his next attack, and then I can use the potion. And that's my last potion. Hope I have. I hope those berries I collected earlier will come in handy. Wait, wait. Yes, yes. I can end the video on a triumph. Yes. With four HP left and only a Badoo left in reserves for my party. A Badoo at level like five, mind you. Oh, I am sorry I have insulted you before, Geo Dude. Ooh, he wants to learn Rock Throw. Make it forget. Stealth Rock, because I said so. Okay. Right. Well, thank you for joining me in this part, and I shall see you next week for the next half hour. Um, yes. Yes. Yay for level 12. Come on, come on, come on. Jeez. That caramba, this was a triumph. Yeah, defeated Commander Mars. Can't be I lost you uppity brat. I think you're the uppity one. Well, let's just end the conversation and end the video. Oops, I messed that one up. It's alright, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. Wow, what a modest winner. 
My, my, lose to a child, will you? But no matter, I've collected plenty of electricity. With power we have obtained, we can leave. Seems quite obvious to me. It's genius that the recognizes 